Today I've got my hands on a brand new product by GameSir. This is the GameSir X2 Bluetooth edition. It's a smartphone game controller. So your smartphone just sits in between the controller extends out and then it will give you a super comfortable gaming experience. So I have previously reviewed the USB-C version, but you're limited to USB-C. Well, the new model supports Bluetooth and that means I can use my iPhone so we can play Fortnite, COD Mobile, Asphalt 9. This supports Apple Arcade games, including MFI, and that also includes cloud gaming. So Google Stadia, Nvidia, GeForce Now, You've got Xbox Cloud Gaming and Vortex. All of those should work with this device. And without any further ado, let's get this box open and see what's inside. The previous model did not come with a hard zip up case. So definitely a nice touch already. And here it is, people. OK, we've got an accessory box in the middle and inside you'll find your user manual and you've got some fancy looking stickers. You're also getting a bag of spare thumb grips and a USB type C cable. Nice case. So, and of course the controller itself. So, so straight away comparing them, they do look and feel the same. The extension is exactly the same length. So 173 centimeters. Uh, this is the Black Sharp 4. You can see it fits perfect. I'm also going to test out the Red Magic 6. It's got the case on as well. So do we have to remove the case or will it just fit? Okay, that's a bit of a tight fit. If the case was not on, that would probably be a perfect fit. So let's try it without the case. Yes. So Red Magic 6 fits absolutely perfectly. But what about iPhone? Here it is. Wow. With the case on. So even with the case on, it fits perfectly fine. My iPhone is not going to fall out unless I shake it really hard. Then I think it will. You do have grips. You can see these grips, rubber grips on both sides. So there's no ports in this model. It doesn't need any ports because it's a Bluetooth model. Now, before we connect the iPhone, I want to quickly go through the buttons for those who are not familiar with the previous model. We've got a joystick, D-pad. You've got a button which says G on it. You've got another button over here. We've got A, B, Y, X. You've got an S button and you've got another button at the bottom with another joystick. You've got your L1, R1, L2, R2, and the buttons do feel exactly the same. Yeah, all the buttons in the same order and they feel exactly the same. But you have at the bottom a power button and a USB-C port. And on the back, you've got these rubberized grips for that comfort. And you've got the same in the previous model. So design wise, it's exactly the same, feels exactly the same. But the new model has uh, added Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is active. We're going to look for this device. It's called the GameSir X2 2E Pair. Oh, I've got a lot of devices. And there it is, connected straight away. I actually took my case off. It's a thick UAG case. But I just wanted to show you how pretty this looks. Look at that. With the iPhone in place, look how nice that looks. Look how slim the iPhone is in place. It's It looks nice. Now, you have three different modes that you can connect. If you keep the home button pressed, which is the small button over here, and the A button, if you keep these two pressed, you will see a blue flashing light, and that's regular Bluetooth mode. Now, if you want to play Apple Arcade or Apple MFI games, then you keep the home button and the B button pressed for three seconds and you will see this purple light and then it will come up as an Xbox wireless controller. So I'm going to connect right now. And we are connected. So now you should be able to play those games that aren't compatible with a regular Bluetooth controller. For example, Call of Duty. So you can see controller is now connected. Working quite well so far. We're capturing C. We captured C. We lost Alpha. We tied for the lead. Heads up. Enemy UAV spotted. We've taken the lead. Ready for deployment. Missile on standby. We're capturing A. Sentry gun ready for deployment. I'm getting used to it, but it's working well. Let's jump straight into San Andreas. And you can see San Andreas is going to work now as well. There we go, San Andreas. Old school gaming. Yeah, that's it.
That game is insane. That game still amazes me. So it looks like every single game we've tested so far works fine on the Apple device. Let's try PUBG Mobile. Now PUBG Mobile is not designed to work with a game controller, so I'm not expecting this to work. But for games like PUBG that don't have controller support, there is another option. Yeah, so you can see, you can look around, but you can't move around. So controller support is not available on PUBG Mobile. But to play the games that don't support controllers at all, so scan the QR code, like so, open the link, and then you'll see the app GameSo, which I have already installed, but I just wanted to show you guys how to obtain it. Put that back where it belongs. All right, so we downloaded the app. There's one step you need to do for, to make this work. You need to come out of this purple mode. I call it purple mode, but it's the MFI mode. And you need to connect to the regular Bluetooth mode. So to do that, keep the power button pressed until the light turns off. Then you're just pressing the power button and the A button at the same time till the blue light turns on. So you can see the blue light and it's also connected automatically. So it remembered the connection. And just to make sure, you can see GameSir X2 connected. Now you open up the GameSir app and you can see it shows you the battery information, it shows you the firmware version. Now select G-Touch and it says iOS 13.4 does not support G-Touch at the moment. So there is a compatibility issue. So we've got to wait for the firmware update. Now the next thing I do want to test while we're here is game streaming. So let's open up Stadia. And here you can see my Stadia library is loading up and I've got a very large library of games. Um, I want to play Mortal Kombat, so let's select Mortal Kombat 11. Alright, so Google Stadia is working fine on the iPhone. We are actually playing Trine 4. And you can see that it's working great. So that was iPhone gaming and I have to say I'm impressed. Okay, so now I've connected an Android smartphone. This is the Red Magic 6. Okay, so for Android devices, we had to connect using home and the G button and you get the X2 G2E pairing and immediately paired. So I just opened up the game set app, hit play game, go to my games and select whatever your games are. And I want to include Stadia as well if I can add. So these are the games. I want to play PUBG. It says loading. So you can see now that we do have controller support on PUBG. It's working absolutely fine. It took a little bit of configuring to follow the instructions. You've got an overlay display which helps you adjust things. But you can see that you can get it working fine. So we're playing Hitman on Google Stadia and you can see it's working fine on Android as well. All the controls seem to be working fine. For some reason, I'm finding it difficult to configure everything when using an Android device. You would think it would be easier on Android, but it's actually the opposite. Um, it was very easy to set everything up for the iPhone and the Android just made me struggle. So it works with both Android and iOS, but unfortunately, um, setting this up with Android seems to be a little bit more fiddly. It seems like the new GameSir X2 Bluetooth works better with iPhones as opposed to Android. Let me know what you guys think. Are you liking that design? Meanwhile, I will leave the links in the description box for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.